So Luciano has been continuing with the ongoing varnish work of our interior woodwork this week. It's looking really beautiful. I've been cleaning the brass work with uh, vinegar to try and remove the tarnish. It's not worked out as shiny as the original, but it has removed the tarnish. I've also been making some flags. The state of some of our flags, they're completely frayed. Some of the ones that we made and some of the ones we bought as well have ended up like that. So I've done a double layer of fabric this time, so hopefully they'll last a bit longer. Okay, so to avoid this, I've made the new flags double layered. We're a little bit concerned about the cats being booked on the flight. We've booked our flights home but it's been a bit of an ordeal to book the cats. We rang up the cargo handlers in Grenada again and they're very relaxed about it. They're saying it will only take two weeks but we're a bit concerned about that. Um, one of the things we did have to do is to take a photo of the cats in front of the carrier to ensure that the carrier is big enough um, and it's well you know the expression like herding cats getting the cat to stand in front of the carrier is an ordeal one of the exciting things we did this week was to meet a man called Samuel Brathwaite and we've interviewed him for our podcast Samuel uh, works for the Cocoa Growers Association and he talked to us in detail about Grenada's cocoa and, and chocolate making um, industry and he also talked to us about his days in the new jewel movement which brought about the revolution in Grenada in 1979. Samuel was also kind enough not only to show us around the, the chocolate plantation and factory but also he took us to a beautiful waterfall called Concord Falls and he also when we were driving uh, we saw these huge valleys in favour of the opposition before that we'd only seen supporters out in favour of the government party and they dress in green but the route that he took we saw huge rallies for the opposition party which is the centre-left party and has a lot more young people in favour <laughs> 